Hi, it's Craig here. Um, in this video, I want to talk about something I touched on in my last video about what happens when you die. Uh, nobody knows the answers to this question. Um, it's, a, it's, pretty, it's a pretty scary thing to think about the fact that one day, all of us, including you, will terminate. Um, you will die. However that happens, whether it's suddenly or you know, through a long, painful illness, you will eventually stop living. And that's terrifying to a lot of people. Now you've got your religious people who think they're going to heaven, and that's fine. And I'm not going to get into a religious discussion here. Um, I'm just talking about the basic question that everybody has that nobody knows the answer to even if you are a religious person. You still don't know the answer, you just believe it. Well, I have a friend who's terrified of dying to the point where he almost wishes he was never born. Because he thinks that he was you're born only to find out that one day you will die and you have to live the rest of your life waiting for that to happen and knowing it's coming. And he just thinks that it's torture and that it's it's a it's a terrible you know, trick that somebody's played on us. So I've talked to him a lot about this, and the basic thing that I've come up with is where were you when your parents were children? Where were you? Okay, you didn't exist, right? You were basically dead. You weren't here, right? So when you die, where are you? Doesn't that kind of sound like the same thing? After you're gone, you're, you're back where you started. And, and you made it through that. So, And you made it far enough through that to live a life. And then you went back to that. So what's the difference? What's the deal? That wasn't so bad, was it? You don't remember anything bad about it. There's more to this. There's only two possibilities um, that can possibly happen after when you die. One, you die, there's no more you, you're gone, everything's erased, your brain goes, poof, shuts off, it's like turning off your computer, it's finished. All the information is lost and it's dead. Okay, it's a piece of matter that doesn't matter anymore. Okay? And if that's the case, then you're not going to be here to worry about it. You're not going to be here to experience the fact that you're gone, that you're that you don't exist anymore. There's no more you. It's you're back where you were before you were born. There's nothing to worry about. You're not here to worry about it. You can't worry about it because you don't exist anymore. That's one possibility. You simply go out of existence, and you're not able to cogn cognitively experience the notion of your absence. It's not, you're just gone, and you don't know it. You don't know anything. You're gone. The only other possibility, foregoing any religious beliefs like hell and things like that, which I to think are totally ridiculous, the only other possibility is that there is something else after these, this body quits. Uh, and that our consciousness is more than the sum of its parts, that our, our, our consciousness is not just, you know, an electrical chemical thing going on inside of our brains, that there's more to it than that. And that when we die, when our bodies stop functioning, that part of us is able to, is able to continue to exist, as it has for, you know, ever. Uh, you, you know, one might think that when you die, your consciousness goes back to where it was before and joins, you know, a collective consciousness we might call God. Um, you know, beyond our, our universe. Or, and then maybe at some point that consciousness can actually re-enter another body, be it a cow or a frog or a human and live another ride, take another ride in the, in, the, in the matter world, 
right? Because that consciousness would not be able to interact with matter if it's not inside of a matter-oriented body, right? Like, like ours. That consciousness would exist only as a notion or as a, as a like a, um, it just wouldn't be able to interact with, with the universe. Like we can, right? We can interact with it. In fact, I'm going to interact with my wine right now, right? So maybe after you your debt you die and you you go back to where you, where you sort of collectively came from, um, eventually you might you might re-enter another body, you know, a new body, a, a young one, a, a just born body, and live that interaction for that time. So there's there's only two possibilities, and you know what? That's not such a bad thing. If when you die you're still really here, you just don't have a body but you're not gone and it's the it's the idea of being gone I think it scares a lot of people and you know maybe you're not really gone maybe you're just not a human anymore your consciousness goes up, back up to where and you know maybe when you die if that's the case you'll understand everything for once you know we sit here and think well where did the universe come from what is you know is there life after death what is the universe where did it start you know how does it end is there a god all this all these questions Maybe when you die, if this is true, you 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 know all this. You go, oh, geez, why didn't I? You know, humans are so. Geez, I, why didn't I think of this while I was a human? Well, humans aren't meant to know that stuff. If we knew that stuff, it would spoil the whole kind of masked masked experience that we have while we're alive as a body. So, with there being only two possibilities, one being that you you stop existing at all and you just there's nothing you, you you're not around to worry about it like before you were born or two you move on to something else or to another whatever whatever's after and neither of those things are very bad right so i wouldn't worry too much about dying because whatever happens it's not going to be a bad thing everybody dies Everything dies. Stars die. Everything gets destroyed in the universe at some point, or changes to something else. Stars explode and they spread their matter all over space, and then that matter recollects to form planets, new things, and new stars. So it's destroyed, but it, it gets back together again and makes new things. And that's the way the universe, that's the way the whole universe works. Everywhere. If you destroy a galaxy or if you destroy a star, that matter will eventually make something else. New stars, new planets, new, new things. And that's the way the universe has worked since the beginning of the universe. So what makes you think that we're not working that way since we're part of the universe? We're not just some things that were placed here after the universe was created, we're, we are the universe. Our bodies are made of atoms. Guess where those atoms came from? The Big Bang. Stars exploded. Atoms were spread all over. Planets were created. Gravity, the whole bit. you got to watch the videos on, you know, YouTube's got videos about this stuff. Our bodies are made of the matter that came from the things that were here before we were. Stars, planets, bodies, rocks, whatever. It's the same atoms, right? We can't create new atoms, we can't destroy them. It's the same ones that have been here since the beginning of time. So we're part of the universe. And because we're part of the universe, why wouldn't we behave like the universe does? When things end, new things begin. Out of those old things. So when you die, I wouldn't be too upset. Because you're going to come back as something else. I believe this. And if you don't, you're not going to be here to worry about it. So enjoy your life while you can, and when you die, you'll either find out, or you won't. And neither of those things are bad. See you later. Thanks.